paint all the things. Hello everyone and welcome back to step 3 of this painting guide. Today it is the 28th of August 2013 and let's check out what I've been doing with these models. I must apologize if my voice is a bit raspy. <coughs> I had a rough night being out and clubbing and stuff like that. So I'm finally back after a week of vacation and there's a lot of things going on on Friday. The 30th I will be actually moving into my new dorm room. But yeah, so these are the models. As you can see they aren't perfect, there's still some details which I had to fix but I thought they were so minor that I I seem to do in, in for the last step. Uh, for instance, if you look at the Aspiring Champion, I have to fix up the skull here, which I'm probably going to be painting just metallic or something. Perhaps fixing up the green and blue colors. Yeah, it's just minor details, so don't worry about it. What I'm going to be doing for the next step is that I'm going to be using Codex Grey, which I've already used on the uniforms, and I'm going to dry brush it on the surface of the base to make it look like they're walking on rocks and after that I'm going to be using Reichland Flesh Shade and for that partic most particularly I'm going to be using on the weapons to make them look rusty I'm going to be using it on the skin to give it a more uh, shadowy look kind of giving them more, a more three dimensional look to it and after that I'm going to be using Nun Oil all over the model, which means both the face, the arms, the body, the metallics, everything. And also I'm going to be using Sherm Blue on this character's plasma gun as you can see here and fix up the fix up the plasma blue effects. So, so first codex grey on the base and then I'm going to be fixing up these minor details. Then I'm going to be using right shine flesh shade on the now on the metallics make it look rusty and on the flesh or on the skin give it a bit of shading. Then non oil all over the model and a Sherman blue particularly on the plasma gun effects. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next step. So see you all in step 4.4 everyone. Hello everyone and welcome to Vogmaster's vlog for the War Mercury Passing Gaming System created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to this last installment of this painting guide. Today it is the 16th of September 2013. That means that there's been approximately uh, over a month since my last, last uh, part. I must apologize for that. I am deeply sorry. I had so much to do. Uh, that means both moving and with the university and stuff like that. I don't even have time to record this, but I'm taking my time for you guys. And here are my models. And as you can see, this model has changed dramatically. That's because I noticed that his upper torso, as you can see here, is too big for the, for the Arcadian arms. So I had to use arms that don't need to be put together. So I changed it into a last pistol in his right arm and his left arm is holding a last gun. Pictures will come afterwards so you will see more properly. The sergeant is still the same. And as you can see I've also added uh, decals or whatever they are called on their shoulder pads. And uh, yes, as I did in my part 1 video, I'm gone for the 005 because I thought that looked like a cool cell number for this Alpha Legion. And here is the here is the plasma gun guy. Okay. 
I'm really satisfied with these. They are some of my now favorite painted type of models. But as I've said previously, I'm slightly disappointed in how the upper torso don't fit the, uh, for the, the arms. Uh, I would assume that uh, you probably need uh, Renegade weapons from Forge World, that, that they are the only weapons that actually fit for these type of arms. But uh, that's just my recommendation or warning for you. But uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching this painting guide and thank you for being patient enough. Don't forget to rate and subscribe my videos. Please give a thumbs up and also leave comments on things I'm doing good so we keep on doing them. And leave Nick a ticket take on things I'm doing bad so we either improve or remove the content entirely. And don't forget to share my videos with other friends who might enjoy watching them. And yeah, that's about it. Death to the False Emperor. Bye.